Hello Sagittarius, this is going to be your love reading. This will be for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and it'll be a general love reading, so it won't resonate with everyone watching. So check out your other placements, Sagittarius. Sometimes those can resonate more. Today's reading is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be doing a past, present, future spread. And remember, time is fluid. So just because I say past, present, future doesn't mean that this situation hasn't already happened, is currently happening, or will happen in the future. And I'm going to be um, just cutting the oracle decks. I've pre-shuffled them off camera. So in the video, I'll just cut the deck and pick the card that comes out to save a little bit more time. And then I'm going to get into the tarot um, with two decks. So um, again, I'm going to be mentioning you or the other person in this reading. Roles can be reversed. So just keep that in mind as well. Let's see what we have. Door to personal healing and happiness. Love it. All right. Love that energy. Thank you to everyone who has commented. I read all of your comments. If you've liked any of my videos, if you've subscribed to the channel, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your support. Wow. Time for a nap. So I'm thinking um, relaxation here, um, taking a break, um, resting I'm getting. Um, and with door to personal healing, you might be healing from a situation right now, Sagittarius. <clears throat> all right, so let's get into the tarot and see what this is all about for Sagittarius. Spirit, what does Sagittarius need to know in love? What does Sagittarius need to know in regards to love? So I'm just going to shuffle and then when a card comes out, I'll just start laying down the cards. Okay, there we go. So the reason past we have the sun beautiful eight of swords and ace of wands okay very conflicting energies here with the sun and the eight of swords i feel like some of you are probably wondering how something is going to play out here with the ace of wands a new beginning here in your head about it the moon could be a pisces that you're dealing with eight of wands and nine of cups okay interesting so what i'm getting here is with the moon there's oops sorry hit the, hit my tripod um with the moon here what i'm getting is there is something unknown something that has been recently revealed or it could just be a pisces or someone with pisces in their chart that you're dealing with but this is a journey into the unknown i feel like these two cards are connected the eight of swords with the moon there's probably quick communication or, or quick movement happening um, and it's going to bring you a very uh, like satisfaction and fulfillment. You're going to be very happy with this news, with this new beginning I'm getting. We have the seven of wands for the near future here. The empress, beautiful. And the hangman. Okay. Bottom of the deck, queen of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So this could be you. Sagittarius taking action um, wanting to go after something that you are passionate about something creative possibly or just someone that is very you're usually very attracted to this person um, wanting to grow with this person so let's see let's clarify these messages for Sagittarius please spirit help me clarify these messages for Sagittarius regarding love messages for Sagittarius please regarding love what does Sagittarius need to know regarding love let's start with the Queen of Wands what are you wanting here Sagittarius if someone wants to take action there's attraction chemistry here passion towards it could be you or the other person that feels this way tell me about this Queen of Wands spirit thank you Two of Swords, interesting. So someone's definitely having their eye on someone here, but can't decide how to move forward. Yeah, Ace of Wands again. Someone wants a new beginning here. They want to take action, but they don't know how. They can't decide what to do. I feel like there's they're so in their head that they can't make a decision. One more, please, for the Queen of Wands. What is this about? Okay, no one wanted to flip over. Yep, yeah, Nine of Swords. 
someone's in their head about this this new beginning they want it but they probably are thinking the other person might not accept there's eight of wands again they want to communicate they want to move forward but they're they're in their head about it there's doubt there's fear here with the moon and the nine of swords tell me about the sun tell me about the sun please tell me about the sun please what is the sun here about okay knight of pentacles seven of cups interesting someone again is thinking about how to get how to make this happen they're they're looking through all their options here weighing all the options here before they come in with this offer that's why they're taking so long with the knight of pentacles i feel like you are going to be very happy with this offer or this person is so so into you that you make them happy and that's why they can't stop thinking about this with the Seven of Cups, the Nine of Swords. Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck, so it could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, doesn't have to be. Um, I feel like this person's gonna come at you with like, almost like a very rational, logical way. They wanna discuss long-term, they're not here to play games. You or this other person. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. This is someone literally stuck in their own head. Wow, Page of Cups, yeah. This person, okay, and Nine of Pentacles. This person um, could be single, you could be single, Sagittarius. Um, I feel like this person has their eye on you here. Um, they want to you know, communicate their feelings is what the Page of Cups is all about. Um, they probably see you as someone stable and secure and, and, you know, I feel like maybe you are not even paying attention to someone else right now because you're healing from something. Um, but this person is going to make a move. I just don't know how long it's going to take them to do that. Or if you're going to accept. Look at that. Two of cups under the deck. Tell me about the ace of wands. A passionate new beginning, a new start. The door has opened here to personal healing and happiness. It's going to start with this Ace of Wands. That's what I'm getting. Thank you. Ten of Swords. Interesting. There, I'm getting this with a lot of the signs that I've been doing today. This theme of ending something, ending a cycle, closing a chapter to start something new. That's what I'm seeing here. Someone ended a difficult cycle and it's brought them about this new door. Page of Swords. Someone's watching someone else here, doing research. Possibly there'll be a message on social media because I have the Eight of Wands under the deck. Um, someone could be thinking about how to communicate. Um, they're kind of watching and waiting here. Wow, Six of Swords, Seven of Swords. So many swords here. This is all about communication and thoughts. Someone has left a situation or is considering leaving a situation here. Um, and someone else is watching them. See how this person's kind of like behind a tree and kind of watching. Um, someone could have a child or a family. Um, doesn't have to be. Um, I feel like this with the seven of swords, someone's trying to be clever when they spy on someone else because they're thinking about this new beginning, about this new offer. And they're really in their head about it. There's justice at the bottom of the day, uh, at the bottom of the deck, sign of Libra. It could be that someone here is trying to either make a final decision, make a judgment call here, um, possibly wanting to make the situation right again, if it wasn't right. Tell me about the moon. There's queen of wands again. Tell me more about the moon. Someone here is taking action to get to the bottom of something here, to go on this journey. Two of wheels. Okay, so two of pentacles here. Still not making a decision. I'm getting two very opposing energies. There's two of wands under the deck. This person is one foot in, one foot out. Because they're so in their head here. They literally are, are in their head. I feel like they're crippled by fear, by doubt. This person probably doesn't know how you feel or vice versa. 
Or this person could be someone you don't expect at all and they know that, you're probably gonna be like, uh, no, right away, because from the shock of it, right? Tell me about this Eight of Wands. Wow, that's a lot, but I'm gonna take them. Ten of Cups here, communicating about happiness and fulfillment. Five of Cups, interesting. Um, this is about regret, focusing on what didn't work out. Wondering if their one cup is gonna be accepted. Maybe they've been rejected already in the past. The star, sign of Aquarius, healing here. An eight of pentacles, someone working hard. Someone can communicate here that they've been working on themselves, on healing themselves, on overcoming this five of cups energy here. They want ten of cups. They want to communicate that. They want to put an effort into something, something that I feel brings them personal happiness here ten of cups um this person for some of you wants a family or you're already a family unit and they want to work on this um but with the stars someone's healing from this sadness this this five of cups energy here i feel like there's two energies here one that's healing and getting over something and almost like they keep looking at the past um, and someone else who's like, no, let's work on something. I want to communicate that I want this with you. If this is resonating. Please let me know in the comments what this situation is all about. There's the Knight of Swords. Someone again, again with the communication here. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Wow, Two of Cups flipped over again. Tell me about the Nine of Cups, please. That one wanted to come out. Four of Wands, beautiful. Someone's wish is to have stability and a family with someone else. Yeah, look at this, the lovers. Could be Gemini. Um, or, I mean, this is just a beautiful union here. This is their, their wish fulfillment here. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Someone's either defensive, standing their ground, having courage. Or something here four of swords defensive because they're healing yeah nine of wands they're healing and they've cut out whatever they needed to cut out to start something new here this person with the fool and the ace of swords we have the ace of swords i think somewhere over here didn't we no i don't think so I can't see my cards no no the ace of wands so here's someone with the ace of swords this is newfound clarity rational truth information um honesty this sword can cut out anything that it needs to cut out i feel like you're cutting out this nine of wands this this feeling defensive here this is someone that's protecting themselves that has walls up this communication could start something new and a new beginning that's more solid here with the ace of swords um, and there's the fool. So definitely taking a leap of faith here for something new. Knight of Cups under the deck. This is beautiful. This person is going to take a leap here. Either you or either you're taking a leap by accepting this cup or they're taking a leap of faith by offering you this cup. But they have to get over this feeling of doubt and fear. They have to get over their fear. Tell me about the Empress. There's the moon again and queen of swords. Someone getting to the bottom of something. Um, someone here communicating. Um, I feel like this person might be fearing making this offer because of the tough exterior of this queen of swords. Someone might not be so open with their heart. And this person doesn't, maybe they don't know how this person feels with the moon and the queen of swords they haven't talked about it or they haven't expressed how they feel could be a pisces or again gemini libra aquarius doesn't have to be um but with the empress here i feel like there is someone that sees this person as their empress it's just how do i get through that tough exterior here you know and in the meantime they're in hangman mode not moving forward or backward here. They need courage with the strength card under the deck. Could be a Leo. Tell me about the hangman. Oh. Hangman clarified by the hangman. <laughs> 
and the three of wands again waiting this person's waiting for either the right time waiting for a message a sign yeah the sun under the de the uh, the sun under the deck i feel like they're gonna have courage with the six of wands and the sun here they're gonna have courage because they want success and they're 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 so almost consumed by their fear i feel like something's gonna give at some time with at some point with the hangman they're just finally gonna have to trust and you let go or something they're gonna have to do something to to change the situation here to to go after their son and to be victorious I will see you guys in another video, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope it resonated with some of you. Please leave me a comment if you are going through this situation. And I will see you guys in my next video. Take care.